Last autumn, I was lucky enough to receive an invite to go and fish a very exclusive salmon river in the far northwest highlands of Scotland. It was late in the season and my friend Donald and I had planned to fish the river hard whenever the conditions allowed it. I arrived late in the afternoon on the first day and Donald suggested heading straight to the river as the conditions were near perfect and I didn't want to waste any time. I quickly set up my single handed 9 foot 6 7 8 weight rod using an intermediate fly line with a 20 foot sinking ghost tip. This would allow me to effectively target salmon whilst providing maximum sport and a challenge. When we set off for the river I made the foolish decision to leave all my camera gear and drone in the van and just take my rods and my phone. I was expecting this to be a quick outing just to investigate the river and plan for the days ahead. I hadn't been fishing for long and I was halfway through my second pool when all of a sudden I got a gentle take from a salmon. Uh, it looked pretty similar to the one I caught last night to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one salmon in the whole fucking river. Yeah, but we're really good anglers. We keep catching them. <laughs> yeah, it might actually be similar size to the other side. I'm talking to the light, I've got trouble. Every time I put a tiny bit of pressure on the stick, oh, it's, it's, it's running, it's I've got any more pressure on that chest, man. You have to wait this one out. Isn't that big enough, Donald? <laughs> <laughs> Very characteristic of a bigger fish not to come near the surface. <laughs> I'm waiting for that rise. It's a solid chunk of fish on there. Just uh, didn't really do much in the first two minutes. I'm getting, We're in a better position I'm here up, up the pool, to be honest fish. with you. Up the pool at his own pace, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. What a stalemate that's that. 
Yeah, tell you what, I'm kind of hoping this is a brown trout, because this might be a Scottish record. <laughs> <laughs> Some power, eh? Half an hour later, we're still fighting the same fish. I'm not making any progress whatsoever. I have actually managed to see it once, <laughs> and it's a nice fish. We're now in the next pool down, still following the fish. This is 45 minutes into the fight. At least down here in the slack water, I'm actually getting to feel the fish and it's not just sitting in the current. I could feel the fish starting to tire by now, and I knew the time to net the fish was fast approaching. Landing this fish meant a lot to me. Not only was I certain this fish would set my new record, but I was using a very special fly at the time. I had hooked into a salmon using a fly from Donald's fishing bag. It was a copper tube fly that had been carefully tied several decades ago by Donald's grandfather-in-law. He himself grew up fishing these same waters, so to say the fly had heritage would be an understatement. I don't think it's tired yet. Eh? I said I don't think it's tired yet. Nah, not quite the make or break moment was upon us. We stopped filming so we could focus on landing the fish safely and nothing else. And man, did it pay off. Videoing. Videoing. That's a salmon. Well, this is my fish of a lifetime. I've never caught a salmon like this before in my life. Thank you. 